today's cup of coffee. <laughs> we have something else that's going to have pictures. So we will insert those, you know. At some point. At some point. Well, they can go to, to the link in the description box on this and view them. Yeah. And I will put a disturbing content on this one. Mm. Because even though they're pictures, they're not even like real pictures, if you want to call it that. They, they can still be quite disturbing. Yes. And this comes from Daily Mail and was by Stacy Lieberton, I think is what it is. July 29th of 2022. We now have a cat banging at the door. Yeah, the cat's banging at the door. Be all right. And the article is entitled Apocalypse Influencers. Apocalypse. AI is asked to think what last selfie ever taken on Earth would look like and proceeds to produce nightmarish images. Oh, yeah, I've seen that already. I figured you would have. Yeah, it showed up on TikTok. But these people may not have. It's apparently very popular on the TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, people ask AI stuff and make it create stuff all the time. Uh, it's, it's weird. Yeah. It's weird. It says, Humans snapping photos of themselves with melting skin blood-smeared faces, and mutated bodies while standing in front of a world that is burning is what the Dolly AI believes will be the last selfies taken at the end of times. Dolly, developed by OpenAI, is a new system that can produce full images when fed natural language descriptions and TikToker robot overlords simply asked it how to show the last selfie ever taken. TikToker robot overlord. That's that must be her screen name or whatever. So those of y'all that TikTok, y'all can go to this person. Yeah, and, that was one of them right there. And uh, subscribe to her or whatever they call it nowadays. What mm -hmm. is it? If it's not subscribing, it's following. It's following, it's... yeah. <sighs> Follow them. There's got to be another term to describe that. It says the nightmarish results each show a human holding a phone, and behind them are scenes of bombs dropping, Colossal tornadoes and cities on fire, along with zombies standing in the middle of the destruction. <laughs> so, and it says one of the selfies is an animated image of a man wearing what looks like riot gear. He slowly moves his head around with a look as if his life is flashing before his eyes while bombs fall from the sky behind him. He didn't move his head around. He didn't move his head around. He moved his eyes and his mouth a little bit, but he didn't move his head around. Well, I, what can you expect? It says, each of the videos have been viewed hundreds of thousands of times with users commenting on how horrifying each selfie is. One user felt the images are going to keep them up at night because they are so chilling. That's because they're pussies. If they thought if this is enough for them to keep them up at night, th motherfucker, you're about in the same category as that woman who got scared of the cat. Well, stupid. So we'll put let you look at some of these images now. They just wonderful. Well, you know, it, it is rather disturbing. Yeah. And it says other users joked about taking a selfie at the end of times with one commenting, quote, but first, let me take a selfie. And TikTok user Nessa shared, and my boss would still ask if I'm coming into work. Yeah. However, not everyone felt lighthearted about what the end of time would look like. Yeah, some of these are pretty damn disturbing. They really are. A uh, user named Victor 
shared, quote, Imagine hiding in the dark for the war, not having seen your face in years, and seeing this when you take a last picture of yourself, end quote. As a bit of a doomer. Yeah. All this stuff is a bit of a doomer here. And most of the commenters see the fun side of the images, but there has been a dark side uncovered with the dolly. Get this. Because it has. To, this is the world we live in. It's racial and gender bias. I mean, that's, that is a total white fuck. Excuse me? Fuck. Says the system is public, and when OpenAI launched the second version of the AI, it encountered people, encouraged people rather, to enter descriptions so the AI can improve on generating images over time, NBC News reports. Well, of course they do, because they're some of the ones that's trying to promote this division thing with their propaganda. Now, see, that... Mm. That one's mutated. Yeah, that one literally has the phone as the face. Is it? Yeah. Okay, that's crazy. AI is still not perfect, but, you know. It says that, however, people started to notice that the image were biased, which meant that nobody would have paid any attention to it had the mainstream media kept their mouths shut. Right. But that is the propaganda machine. Yeah. So... It says, for example, if a user typed in CEO, Dolly would only produce images of white males. And for flight attendant, just images of women were presented. OpenAI announced last week that it was launching new mitigation techniques to help Dolly create more diverse images and claims the update ensures users uh, were 12 times more likely to see images with more diverse people. Now, with these <laughs> these images, had it been anybody else, then they would have complained and bitched and whined. First of all, the ones that I saw, most of them were charred. Yeah, so how could you tell? And That's a skull. a skull. Yeah, a skull, literally, guess what? It's fucking white, no matter what skin color you are. It's... <sighs> Bone. It's bone. That one's not white. And it says the original version of Dolly, named after <laughs> Spanish surrealist artist Salvador Dolly, he's one of my favorites, all time favorite artists, and Pixar robot Wall E was released January 2021 as a limited test of ways AI could be used to represent concepts from boring desc descriptions to flights of fancy. Some of the early artwork created by the AI included a mannequin in a flannel shirt, an illustration of a radish walking a dog, and a baby penguin emoji. Where is that one? They didn't have that on this article. You had to go and search for that. But again, that's surrealism, especially the radish walking the dog. We'll have to look for that. That sounds interesting. Yeah. It says examples of phrases used in the second release to produce realistic images, including an astronaut riding a horse in a photorealistic style. Hmm. That could be interesting. Yeah. Be cool on, the, as hell. on the Dolly 2 website, this can be customized to produce images on the fly, including replacing astronaut with teddy bear, horse with uh, playing basketball, and showing it as a pencil drawing or as an Andy Warhol style pop art painting. So that's pretty good. So it's interactive AI, isn't it? I think so. I don't know. I never mess with it. That's probably a question for your brother. And it says, Dolly 2 has learned the relationship between images and the text used to describe them, OpenAI explained. Quote, it processes, uh, it uses a process called diffusion, which uh, starts with a pattern of random dots and gradually alters that pattern towards an image when it recognizes specific aspects of that image, end quote. Hmm. And it was just like, you know, where oldest kid has been uh, working on the game design and all that has, you know, that has moved forward by leaps and bounds. You know, no longer do you have just the little skeletal whatever to create the imagery 
some of it's just plug and play in some in some aspects. You don't have to worry necessarily about the shadowing and stuff. Oh, it, there are programs that do, do all that. Yeah, some do. Which one was the one that he was toying with there for a while? It was uh, the one that he wanted you to learn so that you could do some. Blender. Something. Yeah, Blender that was one difficult. of them. That one has a steep, 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 steep learning curve to it. But there was something else that he had been using recently that was even better than Blender. Well, I have no idea what he's been using lately. So, but it's not AI. You still have to have human input and know how to do this stuff. Yes. But I thought the images were disturbing. They also have here, it says, how artificial intelligence uh, learns using neural networks. AI systems rely on artificial neural networks and which try to simulate the way the brain works in order to learn. ANDs can be trained to recognize patterns in information, including speech, text data, or visual images, and are the basis for a large number of the developments in AI over recent years. Conventional AI uses input to teach an algorithm about a particular subject by feeding it massive amounts of information. Practical applications include Google's language translation services, Facebook's facial recognition software, and Snapchat's image altering live filters. The process of inputting this data can be extremely time consuming and is limited to one type of knowledge. A new breed of ANDs called adversarial neural networks pits the wits of two AI bots against each other, which Love. allows them to learn from each other. Loves it. This approach is designed to speed up the process of learning as well as refining the output created by AI systems. <sighs> which leads us back to an earlier cup about the AI being sentient and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But zombie apocalypse that's not the first time today that i have heard somebody discussing zombie apocalypse yeah. yeah actually they were talking about that the cdc used to have about a zombie apocalypse on its website they claimed that it was for shits and giggles and it, i think had since deleted it or something like that but that's kind of concerning. You just you, a the bit. CDC is not one of those websites that you go to searching for humor. Now, how come they can't like post humor though? Like because it's the CDC. That's some serious shit usually. Yeah. So, I don't know. My generation heavily uses humor, especially dark humor, to get through things. Sure so you yeah, do. we would like that just a little bit on sure. their website. And if we could, without a copyright strike, we would end this with, you know, it's the end of the world as we know it. Mm -hmm. R.E.M. Back before they got political and stupid. Why does everything have to be political and stupid? Things have been political if, all the time. I, we years. are not the only ones that are just over all this bullshit. Yeah. <sighs> Anyhow. See people for who they are on the inside, not just on the outside. Mm -hmm. And do not let the overlords, you know, try to divide. That's the oldest strategy is divide and conquer. The overlords. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually looking in about the Archons, mm -hmm. and it was too extensive into what I wanted to do today. It was more... It, it, more brain powder and power than I had. Brain powder. Brain powder. Brain powder. It was more than I had in me today. <laughs> Smooth brain gang. Yeah, Let's put in those, that more of that brain powder. Absolutely. It, it keeps the, the brain from sliding against the sides of the skull. It keeps, keeps it from chafing. Down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyhow, if you've had experiences with the paranormal and supernatural, Encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, AI weirdness. If you've got local, regional, or family myths or legends, send us an email, cup of coffee with scream at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And the, the email address is also going to be in the description box. 
I don't have to worry about that. That's a standard thing that goes with each video. I don't have to put that in every time and try to remember it. Yeah. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Thank you all. Have a good. Were you going to say something else? Just to tell them that they're loved. That they are loved. Yes. And we'll see you on the next cup. Bye. Bye.